Hello, my name is Stephen Liam, the founder of Sermon Audio. And this past week, I had the privilege of visiting the land of Africa, the country of Kenya, in a very remote and rural part of Kenya. And as you know from a previous video, we have been working and experimenting with something called global sermons, where we can take an English sermon and have it re-preached, essentially, into foreign languages with high accuracy and with natural sounding voice. And while I was there, I had the opportunity to try out a global sermon on the local people of that region. And it was a very interesting experiment. I first let them listen to a clip of the English sermon, and then I explained that uh, this same English sermon was about to be heard in their native language of Swahili, but that it was translated via machine using artificial intelligence. And I wanted to get their reaction. So as I played this re-preached sermon clip in Swahili, Je, kuna ukinzani kati ya Paulo I got the reaction on video, and I asked them, do you understand what is being preached? Yes. Yes, they did. Yes. They were amazed. They were enthusiastic. And they were asking where they can hear more. So being able to see for myself the reaction of local people on a very foreign language. It gave a fresh sense of validation and encouragement that Global Sermons is a very important step for us. This is the mango tree of the future. <laughs> it's the morning time. The sun has just come up and we are actually gonna be heading back home today. But before that happened, I thought it would be good for us to try to remember to encapsulate, to bottle up the, the feeling that I have. <clears throat> People visit Africa for different reasons. Some like to visit Africa for economic opportunity. There are others that visit Africa for its natural beauty. Uh, it's known for its wildlife. The reason why I come here, it's not for the animals, it's not for the natural beauty, as beautiful as it is, but it's for the people. They're some of the greatest, sweetest, kindest Christian believers here in this part of the world. There is a verse that comes to mind when I think about my time here and people here. And there's a lot of need here. There's a lot of poverty and there's no getting around that. And yet, what amazes me is how much these people are able to give even in such a condition. It reminds me of this verse in 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 2. How that in a great trial of affliction, the abundance of their joy and their deep poverty abounded unto the riches of their liberality. So it's amazing to me. Let it be known that even though people, you may be one of them, may not have very much of this world's goods, 
you could still abound unto the riches of generosity. I have felt that and have been the recipient of that firsthand here in the East Africa. Justin cooking some African food. What are you making, Justin? Pizza. Josefina, what is it? It's uh, African pizza. What are you making? Chapati? 